All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be working on the player. So the first thing we're going to do is, is go right into it. So let's go and create a new scene. Let's create a character body 2D and let's rename it to player and save it in its own folder and call it player. All right, let's click OK, save, and here we go. So now let's add a collision layer or collision shape. So our body or player actually has a shape. So let's create a capsule. No, actually, I'm going to do a rectangle. That's what I did in my reference. And then if you guys want explanations on um, the different types of animations you can use, um, you can actually check out my, I have a small series on the different types of animations that you can check out, but we're going to be doing the way I would do it. So we're going to be using an animated sprite. We're going to go to animation and new animated frames. Let's go into here and we're going to have idle. And then we're also going to have, let me check. Idle down. I'm going to do idle right. Let's add a few more. I'm going to do idle left. Idle up. Yeah, that's the last one. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we'll add one more for the walk animation. So we'll do walk down. Ooh, you know what? I actually lied. We're going to remove the idle left because I'll show you in a minute, but we're just going to delete that. We're only going to have three each. So walk down and then walk up and then walk right. And the reason is because in our player sprites, if I can find it, here we go. Is it this one? Yes, it is. We're going to go into idle down first. For example, we'll go into add frames from sprite sheet or control shift O. And then we're going to go into our sprites, find it. And here is our player. So now we're going to do... Um, we have to edit the horizontal and vertical sprites on the top left. So here we have to align it so that we have six and uh, nine. Yeah, so there we go. So this one is idle down. So we're going to select the frames that are idle down. So let's add it. And there you go. Now, you might see that our player is actually a bit blurry. And that's because in our project settings, we need to go to project settings, go to filter. We'll go to texture here. And then the default, we want to do nearest, not linear, but nearest. So let's close this and it should save. Okay. Now let's do this again for all the idols. So let's go here, do six and nine. We'll do idle. This is idle right. Now we'll do idle up. Six and nine. Ooh, it might actually not be nine. It might be 10. Ah, it is 10. All right, I'll have to fix that in a second. So let's go to idle up. All right, so let's actually fix this and delete that. Dun, dun, dun. 10 and 6. So idle right. And let's delete these. And then idle down. So 6 and 10. And you can skip ahead if you would like. But basically, we're just going to add all the frames for all of these. So walk down. We'll do the same thing. So we'll get 6 and 10. So walk down will be these. And then walk right. We'll do the same thing. 6 and 10. And then we want to find the walk right, which is this one. I'm just including this just in case anyone um, gets confused or kind of messes up on anything. You can always watch on how I do everything. So here we go. Here's walk up. So let's add. Now we don't want attack because this isn't an action RPG. This is a Pokemon game. So let's now add an animation tree and an animation player. Okay. So in the animation tree, let's assign the animation player here. Click OK. And let's give it a tree root. The tree root, we're going to give it a state machine. Now here we're going to give it two different things. We're going to, well, we want to add blend spaces, I believe, right? Yeah, two blend spaces. This one will be idle and this one will be walk. Now we're going to take our connect nodes and we're going to connect from start to idle and then from idle to walk and walk back to idle. 
Now we're going to go to these transition nodes and disable them. Now we disable them by going to advanced mode and turning it off. Now automatically it's it's on automatic to automatically go from walk to idle and back and forth. So we want to turn these off so that we can do this manually. Now we have an error here, which is just saying the act, the tree is inactive. So now we're actually going to turn this off so we can actually edit our animation player. So we want now want to make an idle right, left, not lefty, but left. All right. Idle down. We want to make one for each, including right, which I don't think I did, right? So we have down, up, left. We need uh, up, so we have idle, up. And then we're also going to do one for every uh, walk animation. So uh, uh, walk, up, walk, down. Ignore the PC optimum thing. <laughs> uh, walk down, now we have walk, right walk left there we go all right so now we're going to do this very carefully because each of these has to be done very carefully so for animation we want to edit it through our animation sprite so if we click the animated sprite this pops up but we want to edit it in the animation so on the bottom of my screen you can see the animation let's click that and let's now click idle Go to walk up because that's the animation I have selected. Let's key this and let's not create a reset track. And we're also going, let me actually double check what I have. Now we also need the lip H on off. And we also will now key the frames. So we'll do key the frame. And at point one, we'll do frame one, two, three four and five. I think that's it, right? Yeah. I, uh, and now we're basically going to do this for each one. So we want to go to idle down, for example, let's go to the frame, let's select idle down. Let's go to the animation. Let's key this create, and we're going to key the flip H. Now I'll show you why we're going to do this in a second, but we need, it's important that we flip H on false every animation. Now we key the frame. So we key frame zero and then go up one frame, up another frame. And we keep doing that until we reach the end. There we go. And let's go to idle left. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. Now the idle left doesn't exist. We have idle right, which is the opposite. Now what we'll do is we'll key this, but we're going to turn on flip H and we're going to key that. So flip H will be true. Now we're going to do the frames. So we're going to do key frame zero, frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, and five. And that should be it. Now let's do this for idle. And let's just keep doing this for all of the uh, animations that we have. So I'll, you can now skip ahead if you would like, but I'm going to keep doing this just so we get the hang of it. So we have one, two, three, and four and five. And again, flip H off. That's very important. And if you accidentally do that, you can just move the key by doing that. Let's go to idle right. And idle right. Whoops, got us go back to animation. Sometimes this happens, but that's okay. We can just flip H off. We can do frame zero, frame one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go to walk down and flip H off, walk down, we'll go to frame zero, frame one, frame two, three, four, and five. Great. We're almost there. Walk left is going to be walk right, but we're going to turn on the flip H. There we go. I'm going to turn that off and frame zero. We're gonna have frame one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And lastly, I think we are already done this one actually. Walk up. Yeah, the last one we haven't done is walk left or right. Okay, walk right. Let's go back to animation. Key that. Key the flip H. Go to the frame zero. And one, two, 
three, four, five. There we go. All right. Now, lastly, now let's set up the animation tree. So what we're going to do here is let's actually move this in front of it and edit inside of here. So now we want to go to the create points and add a point on the left that says idle left. On the right, we're going to add a point that says idle right. Now these points are the animation. Now you'll see it in a second, but the walk, the idle down is actually going to be on the top. Now this is a bit confusing, but the idle or the top and down are actually flipped. So down is going to be up and up is going to be right. So we want idle up down here and idle down up here, if that makes sense. Now we'll do the same thing for walk. We'll go here and say walk left, walk right, and walk up and walk down. Now, one more thing, we have to take the blend and use the dotted line for both of them. So let's double check that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our animation tree and we're gonna set it to active. And let's go over here and move our character just up a little bit. One last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually have to go through each animation and loop it. And also, I'm going to set the time to 0 0.6. So let's copy that and just do that for every one. So idle up. Let's loop it. Let's make sure we loop every animation. There we go. And now we have everything set up. So let's actually add a script to our player. So let's create a script. Let's use this guy and let me check my reference. Now, this is actually not a bad start, but we're gonna actually end up just removing everything. And we're gonna keep these, except for jump velocity. Ignore that email, we don't need that either. And we're also going to ignore, or we're gonna remove the gravity. However, we're gonna replace it with an on ready variable, anim. And we're gonna auto load our animation tree because that's something we're gonna be using to move or animate, obviously. Okay. Now we're going to do movement in a very simple way. Now th that way is going to be input direction. Now Godot has a built-in function that can just allow us to get a vector using four inputs and I actually forget what this is. Let's check and a dead zone. So let's just put zero as the dead zone. Now the input direction will end up giving me a vector two. So it'll give me a vector two either 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, etc. So there's a bunch of different options depending on what I click. In fact, what we can do is we can print this. So let's print this. And firstly, let's go to our world and add our player. Otherwise, it's not going to work when I play. So let's play. And if I start clicking, we can see that I'm getting different variables in our vector 2. Now, this is really useful because if I go into my player, I can now move my player based on the input direction. Now, I don't want to do velocity equals input direction times speed. Well, I do, but we want to check if the input direction is valid before I start moving him. So now this pretty much works. However, you'll see that there's no way of stopping, right? So the reason why we check is because now I can just say else, then we'll stop him. Now, the way I like to stop him is by doing this. Um, I just like to take the velocity x and y and move them towards zero over a period of time. Now, this is just a very smooth way of doing it. Now, you can just set it to zero. Like, you can also do this. So, we can also say, if I can type properly, <laughs> you can also say uh, zero, zero. Or maybe it's just zero. I don't know. Let's try this and see if that works. That should work. Yeah, so it should. it does work. However, I just like this because it's a very smooth way of moving. So if I move, you can kind of see he kind of stops to a halt. And you could actually replace this 20 with friction. So it's up to you. This is essentially creating friction. Okay, let's actually add a camera to my player so I can zoom in a little bit. Let's go to our, our zoom and let's do 0 0.3. Okay, but that might be too much. Or that might be too little. So let's actually do three. <laughs> there we go. All right, there. So now we've zoomed in and we can see our player properly. Okay, we'll edit the camera in a bit, but that might actually be in the next video. But let's continue on our player animation. Now, here, 
in our velocity, there's a few things I want to do. And that is set the animation. So the animation, we can set it by saying anim.get parameters dot slash playback and then travel to walk. Now let's, let me copy this part for the idle and I'll explain what that does. So essentially what we're doing is anim is the animation tree. So we're going to go into our animation tree and we're going to find the parameters and playback, which is essentially going into our animation tree and it's going to find what's happening. Where are we? We're going to go into here, go to the blend space, this entire, um, no, sorry, state machine, and it's going to travel to wherever we ask it to. So in this case, we're going to travel to walk, right? So walk right here, we're going to travel to walk. This is manually taking our pointer essentially and going to, from idle to walk. Okay. And vice versa in terms of the idle. Awesome. So now let's go back to our script. Now this should actually work somewhat. Cool. It kind of works. It, it does kind of work in that sense where we walk and stop and idle. Now, obviously it's not working perfectly. Now, why is that? Because we need to reset the blend position or we need to actually set the blend position. So if we go to our animation tree, let's do this manually. We can go to edit and take our point and we should be able to edit this by moving it around. And we can see as we move it around, things happen, right? Now we want to do this with code and we do this by saying anim dot set parameters, the idle and the blend position. So the blend position is what we're, we're editing. So, and we're going to edit it uh, with the input direction. So we're just going to put in the input direction that we're, that we have. Now let's play and see that things are actually reversed in our walk. So now I have to go back to my walk in my idle tree and edit that point by going here and saying walk down. And then this one, let's move that down a little bit and walk up is there. And I'll play one more time and see if that works. Awesome. So now everything works. Very cool. Um, actually, let's edit the camera real quick because it's not very difficult. First of all, let's limit it so it doesn't go above and beyond the world. So let's left and top. We'll put at zero. Let me actually set, see what I did in my camera. And then I also have smoothed. And then we have position smoothing. We're going to turn that on and we're going to leave it at five pixels. We're going to go to drag and we're going to turn those on. And that's it. Now we should have a nice smooth camera that looks like this. Now our speed is way too high. So what we're going to do is go to our player and let me see what I use as my speed. I used 100 it seems, but you can choose whatever you'd like. And now we have a nice moving character with a camera that drags along our character. So it, it actually has a nice feel to it. Awesome. So you can kind of play around with the different things, the different position smoothing. You can make it 10, 20, whatever you'd like. Um, you can change the um, drag. It's up to you, but I've found these uh, variables pretty nice. So that's pretty much it for the character. <clears throat> In the next video, we'll be working on the battle probably, or adding UI. I'm not too sure yet, actually, but we'll work on something. So um, subscribe if you guys like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.